What's going on guys? We're taking MT-07 to the Navajo Lake and we're taking off-road to to get there. This is pretty nice, pretty great road right now. It's gonna get a little bit worse. It's not too bad, but I have never taken taken this bike up this way yet. I did a little bit of this road, maybe like three or four weeks back, just to get a taste and it wasn't bad at all as you can tell i got my helmet mic in this video not as good exhaust sound as the previous video i have uploaded but that means i can talk to you For those that are wondering about the tires, they are TKC 80s. I don't remember the size from the top of my head, but it's the same size as the stock tire, both for the front and for the back. And they do really well off-road. I did get asked, the question comes up pretty much every time I post about this bike anywhere is how do those tires do on road, on pavement, with regular driving and I can tell you that they accelerate pretty good up until 65 miles per hour and then you start to get a wobble the wobble where the bike starts going kind of like this it just shakes the the front end starts to shake left to right and if you don't catch that immediately and correct it like slow down so it stops it's very dangerous so bottom line, I would say if you're driving speed limit, if you're not an aggressive rider, these tires do very well on pavement. You can still quarter and lean fairly aggressive, not as much as of course with the street tire, but still, you know, enough to scratch your fancy in most cases for most riders. And then off-road, I think they're absolutely amazing. Because I've taken this bike on I think this is my sixth time taking this bike off-road. It's extremely fun. It has done some off-road that I didn't think it could so I definitely recommend the tires if you're looking to do something <clears throat> something similar to what I did But yeah, you have to be you have to behave with them on road. You cannot be a hooligan. But you can still accelerate with them pretty fast. I would not like 
to be safe, I would not do it past like 50 miles per hour. I would just accelerate hard, maybe up to like 50 and then take it easy from there. But you can definitely, you know, get, get a rush, acceleration rush still. So we're going to try to go all the way to the lake and there's two, two objectives today is to see if the bike can actually make it all the way, all the way there and then once there I actually took my professional camera I'm gonna take some professional pictures of the bike because I haven't I actually I don't think I have <clears throat> a single picture like a good professional picture of the bike after I finished I uh, finished modifying it the way it is right now it's basically in its final state I'm not gonna do much more to it The only thing I may get is a dampener, steering dampener. Just to kind of try to keep my safe, myself a little bit uh, on the safer side when riding at uh, highway speeds, just because of that wobble that I was mentioning. But honestly, I'm not even sure about that. Maybe I'm not gonna, not gonna do it.
the biggest downside of this bike is the oil pan and that's a downside i mean if you're planning to get an mt07 and convert it to like a adventure-ish bike like this the reason is because it sits sits pretty low so the brake over angle is not very good so you have to be very mindful of any rocks that are sticking out or when you're driving over hills or bumps to make sure you don't hit your oil pan it's basically something I think about pretty much the entire time I'm riding the bike and I'm looking for lines that are that don't have a brake brake over angle with that said I have scraped it I have scraped my oil pan twice and I have a, a rock guard as well in front of it to make sure because this knobby tires they like to kick kick rocks so one other thing you don't want to do is go too fast on this road especially when there is gravel because it can throw a rock straight into oil pan and the oil pan is plastic so it can crack it just something to consider other than that the bike is extremely fun both on and off road back roads a lot of fun and the biggest plus for me at least is that I don't have to be speeding to have fun on this bike And then of course you have the biggest plus of this bike is the the engine sound the exhaust sound there is no off-road a motocross motorcycle that can replicate this
your little one. Don't run. Good boy. So gravel like this bike does go a little bit side to side but still feels stable ish Also get asked about suspension how is the suspension on this bike off-road and for stuff like this like I'm sitting I'm not even standing up of course you're not gonna take this stuff at speed on this bike you know forget it you have to be conservative this is not a motocross But if you're okay riding like this, then the suspension is actually really good. As you know, suspension on these bikes is pretty soft. It's a little too soft for, for the street, but it actually makes for pretty good suspension off-road. And I always joke that this suspension was actually made for off-roading because it feels really nice and then if you have <clears throat> like rough stuff a lot of rough stuff all you gotta do is just stand up if you stand up it actually feels even better So suspension-wise, if you're not planning on doing anything hardcore, just some mild trails, light to, light to mild, it's a good suspension, you don't need to do anything with it.
we're getting sand. Sand is this bike's worst enemy. This road does get eventually a little rutted. There's some big ruts. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't remember how big they are. Just remember they're there and they're like toward the end. I've taken this road plenty of times on my Jeep. This is actually one of my favorite spots where we're going to uh, to go during summer for some lake camping to cool off, go for a dip. But today we're not doing it. Today we got another mission.
while you're standing up, which I'm doing right now, it feels buttery smooth. Getting close, you can see water right there. So yeah, so far the road wasn't bad at all. Beautiful. I think next weekend I'm actually gonna take my Jeep out here with my dog. Go for a dip. All right, so we're pretty much here. Now I am not sure if this bike is actually gonna make it to the spot. Actually, well, I think it's a little bit farther. I think it will. I am convinced it will, but I'm not gonna lie, I have some doubts. Now, keep in mind the oil pan when going over stuff like that. I don't know, camera may probably not pick it up, but when rock's sticking out and there's a break, breakover angle, always have to think about the oil pan. Look at that. That is pretty. Yes. 
it is. going down here so this is where I have no idea if the bike is actually gonna gonna do it and it's been a hot minute since I've been here last time so let's see if I can navigate this So this is like legit off-road. If you were wondering how it does stuff like this, this is your chance to find out. Gotta be careful with the oil pan. Oh. Bike is heating up and I'm heating up too. <laughs> it is hot. When I left it was like 60, but now I think it's like 80. Okay, there's a that I like that overlooks the lake it's gonna be perfect for some pictures oh 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 gotta be careful here single all right we're here all right Give you guys a look. Front of the bike. And the lake. This is one of my favorite spots. Now I like to camp right here. So we made it. The bike did well actually. It was pretty easy. Only this this part up here was kind of challenging and mostly just because I was a bit scared of uh, hitting the oil pan which is like right right behind the guard it's actually completely open all right guys anyway I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna record or not my way out of here so 
but that's that I'll probably share some pictures I'm not sure if it's gonna be in this video or maybe just my social media if you want to see them if I don't share them on this video which I probably want because it's gonna require more uh, video processing which I, I hate to do I'll probably just post them on my uh, Instagram so if you're not following Raven JL with a Y then uh, go follow give a thumbs up leave a comment let me know if you have a bike like this or if you're thinking about doing something like that what you like about it what you don't like if you have any questions let me know and take care